Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name's Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. I got my buddy Adam here with me. Got you've seen balls. you've seen him before. I, I edit almost everything he says. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go look at a. Uh, come on, <laughs> we're gonna go look at a uh, 1984 Chris Craft Catalina 381. It's inside this boat yard. The broker's gonna meet me right now. So let's go check it out. There she is, Stella Maris. Stella Maris. I actually I like the name. Uh, it's a little bigger than my Regal, huh? That bit. <laughs> All right, well, I'm down in the engine room. We're going to start here. This is the engine that's being worked on. Had some overheating issues, so they're working on that. But the bilge, really clean. The amount of space under here is phenomenal to work on stuff. Cruiser 340s. Yeah, exactly. So we moved to our old townhouse. So, but now you have. Okay, this is the forward stateroom. Queen, queenish size bed, maybe a little wider at the front, but side walls are in very, very good condition. This boat is really in excellent shape. Forward air. Forward head. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a boater. He definitely. We just go with him on boats. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's exactly what we want. Carpet is in that. excellent shape. Exactly. Pretty nice big. Stacks and we're fine. And then next year, the wife and I get an RV, so. We'll have a friend with an RV, we'll have a friend with a boat, it's a perfect match. Yeah, right? Nice galley, the refrigerator is new. Everything works. New carpet. The pink seat's probably got to go. This is the broker, John, if you don't mind being on, <laughs> on the video. John, broker. <laughs> Weber, Weber Yachts, right? Weber Yachts. Weber Yachts. He is representing this boat for the seller. Let me go back to the aft cabin here. Three steps down. King size bed. Again, everything is in very, very good condition. Lots of space. Old school TV. <laughs> Shower and tub. Lots of locker space up here as well. Got that one. And I believe there's another locker here. And then you've got a side door here. Is this is this okay to slide, John? Sure. This is access to the gunnel walkways. A little dirty from sitting outside. The spiders have made their home here, but clean up nicely. All right. We're just gonna walk through the spider webs up here. It's got a working radar. Sea deck up here. I'll show that when I go back inside. fenders are inside so the only thing that this boat doesn't have that I would like is a windlass right now it just has the uh, manual deployed anchor uh, but we don't anchor out all that much we probably will with a bigger boat but it's a bench seat oh okay so that's where you know Gina will be the yep time. yeah nice big bench seat here and then plenty of space for laying out on the but, but uh, that's a nice speaker yeah 
<laughs> Pump the music. <laughs> And here's a shore power access. You got two cords, uh, 50 amp service. Nice wide gunnels all the way to the back. Isen glass is in very good shape. It's all brand new. The top is new. I'm kind of liking this boat. So you can kind of get an idea of the space here. This is the first time I've been on a 381, but got uh, six, eight inches of headroom above me. And the salon area is just nice and big. I think we could use this space very nicely. Let's go up and check out the uh, uh, bridge slash cockpit. Yeah, everything just goes to post. I'm going almost sight unseen. So the seats that Adam is sitting on are in very good shape. Covers for the seats. All the covers are really good. Are there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No cracking. And we've got some older equipment here, but it all works. Everything is real clean. Got some C deck up here on the forward part of the. I guess this is kind of a bridge slash cockpit. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Helm station. Helm station, there we go. And here is the, this would be considered the cockpit technically, uh, but it wraps around to the gunnel walkways. And you've got, I don't know, 18, 24 inches back here. And then there's a swim platform down there. All right, the boat is called Stella Maris. Do a quick walk around. show the bottom. The bottom paint's in good shape. All the way around, just a couple little spots here. Some touch-ups. But overall, nice boat. So I got some uh, talking to do with the broker here to see if we can uh, put something together on this, but um, you never know. Maybe this will be our next boat. All right, well, I wanted to do uh, kind of an uh, 11th hour update here on this video. I looked at that boat, and it's been about two weeks ago now, and a lot has transpired since then. I did put in an offer on that boat. It was accepted as written. I paid the deposit. Um, I've lined up financing. I've lined up insurance. I uh, got the survey uh, scheduled. Pretty much everything that is that is needing to be done to work towards purchasing this Chris Craft has been done. And working with the uh, broker, John Simons at Weber Yachts, has been, he's been fantastic. Um, uh, great communication. Two weeks into this, all good as far as buying, uh, buying that Chris Craft. Now getting my Regal sold. Um, I am so stressed and anxious about this, not because selling the re not because buying buying the next boat necessarily hinges on selling the Regal. I can do it. I just don't want to own two boats at the same time. Um, I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't happen that way. This this deal on the on the Regal has dragged out for almost two months now. Um, as mentioned in the uh, sale pending video, which came out a couple weeks ago, the deal was signed uh, by me, accepted by me on April 29th. Uh, it took six and a half weeks to get a survey, um, a survey results delivered to the buyer. And now I haven't met the buyer. I haven't talked to him. I don't know anything about him. I'm 
I don't even really know where the boat's going, other than it's supposed to go to Michigan. This process has taken an extraordinary amount of time. Longer than, easily twice as long as I thought it was gonna take. More, more like three times as long as, as I thought it was gonna take. I don't blame anyone for surveying a boat. If you, if you purchase a, a, an asset and you wanna know exactly what you're getting, um, by all means, survey the boat. Uh, I'm doing, I'm gonna do that on the Chris Craft. I just didn't think that, that selling, surveying, getting the whole process done on a, a 26, boat, 26 foot boat as it's titled um, would take this long, but we're almost there. Uh, this, <laughs> this week, the closing was supposed to happen, um, on Monday or Tuesday this week. Today is June 21st, or tw June 23rd. The closing was supposed to happen on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we heard nothing from the buyer found out on monday that he's just been having a hard time getting away from work fine no big deal um and then uh now we're now we're looking at possibly not doing a sea trial just closing the deal and then shipping the boat to to michigan which is fine by me i know he's going to get a good solid boat survey was fine um you know the upgrades that i've done to that boat over the last three years uh, you know Whoever buys it, this the, the the person buying it is going to get a great boat. I have I have no problem saying that, and I'm confident in saying that. Um, so if we don't do a sea trial and he just closes it, ships it, uh, he would have nothing nothing to worry about. Um, but we get to the you know we're we're at the end here, and just every single day that goes by adds more stress and gives me more anxiety. And I am not a stressful person. I'm not an anxious person. Um, but I just want to get this wrapped up. I mean, you know, it's, it's been, this sounds like I'm complaining. I'm, and it's just a boat. I mean, obviously <laughs> boats, boats are not required in, in life. It's totally a, um, a, a luxury item to have in your life, especially when you get into bigger boats. Um, you know, a, a 2665 Commodore is a is a very nice boat. It's a nice nice size boat. Uh, the next boat, if it's the Chris Craft, is going to be a 38, 39 foot, whatever it is, um, foot boat. They're big. This game, I'm getting to a bigger boat here, and it's completely unnecessary to own one of these. So please don't take this as a complaint. Just for me, as a as a very laid back guy in general in life. This has been one of the most stressful things I've ever, ever gone through. Uh, there's been a couple of other things that have been a bigger deal, but as far as, uh, as far as things that have stressed me out in life, this has been a big one. So all that to say, it looks like and sounds like the Chris Craft Catalina 381 that I looked at two weeks ago is going to be the next boat for us. And uh, we're just gonna keep moving down that path, expecting everything fall in place uh, whenever it's supposed to and we'll get the we'll get the deals done we'll get mine sold and get the uh, get the Chris Craft purchased now the the survey on the Chris Craft is scheduled for uh, July 7th at this point which is a little over two or just under two weeks away and uh, uh, get that done and hopefully have a survey findings report delivered in a fairly timely fashion and plan on getting the boat up to Sturgeon Bay sometime mid-July, hopefully before I go do the trade show uh, in Oshkosh, which is uh, EAA Air Venture, um, which I think starts on like July 25th or 26th or something like that. So hopefully we'll get this all wrapped up before then. And I can have the boat up there because I'd like to take a week's vacation after that trade show and just go spend it on the boat. So <laughs> hopefully that all works out. But uh, let's get back to this video. You got about, uh, 10 seconds left to watch after this, uh, after this part. So hopefully fingers crossed, everything goes well and, uh, we'll get, we'll get all this wrapped up. Thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater channel. Hope you enjoy <laughs> We'll see you next time.
on the Wisco Boiler channel. Hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater channel. Happy boating, everybody.